Hi guys, let's get right into the video as always. First, I'm going to take my boneless, skinless chicken and I'm going to cut it up into bite-sized pieces. Okay, next I'm going to take a cup of milk and two eggs and I'm going to mix that together. And all of the ingredients and measurements will be listed in the description box below as always. Now you can salt your chicken if you want to, but I don't like my food too salty. So for me, the seasoning was a perfect amount. But if you like a little more salt, go ahead and salt your chicken right here. Um, all recipes are made differently and this is just to give you guys an idea. But feel free to tweak any recipes that I... I upload and make them into your own okay now I'm just gonna let my chicken sit in there while I heat up my pan of oil and I get my flour mixture together okay now just set that aside and now I'm going to be taking three-fourths a cup of flour and three-fourths of a cup of breadcrumbs and I'm just going to mix that together along with a half a tablespoon of salt two tablespoons of powdered sugar half a teaspoon of white pepper half a teaspoon of paprika Okay, and like I said, feel free to add more if you want, but this is my preference. Okay, now I'm going to put some of my chicken pieces into my flour mixture. And this whole time I have my oil on medium, medium to medium high heat. Because you want it hot before you drop any of your chicken in there. Okay, just make sure everything is coated really nice. Now I'm just going to put my chicken one by one. Okay, you're going to cook them for about three minutes on each side. Just make sure all of the chicken is cooked all the way through. Cooking chicken can be dangerous, so you want to make sure that it's all the way cooked. And I like mine extra crispy, so I cooked them a little longer. Here's some more chicken. And you're going to set these on um, like a rack. Don't set them on a napkin because then that makes them mushy. So you just want to set them on a rack and that way they'll stay crispy. Here's all the measurements so you can make your Chick-fil-A sauce. Now, I really, really like Chick-fil-A sauce. And to me, this was so close to the actual Chick-fil-A sauce that I really, really, really loved it. So if you guys like Chick-fil-A sauce, this is your way of making it at home. Okay, and again, um, the, 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 all the measurements will be listed in the description box below. Or you could pause the video and you could take a screenshot when I put the measurements up on the screen. When I was mixing all this together, I was like, no way, like this doesn't even look good or sound good, but it really tasted so close to the actual Chick-fil-A sauce. And I actually had a Chick-fil-A sauce in my fridge. So I'm going to show you right now what the two look like side by side. So there's the Chick-fil-A actual sauce and then the one I just made. So you can see they pretty much look similar. And I promise the taste is so close. I'm not going to say exact because I don't want people to come for me, but it tastes close. Okay, like I said, you don't want to put your chicken on a napkin to drain the grease. You just want to set it 
on a cooling rack like that so they stay crispy and that's it guys that is um make it at home chick-fil-a chicken nuggets with chick-fil-a sauce i hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching please give it a like and comment down below if there's any videos you want to see me make i would be more than happy to